Hello everyone, this guy is Airlayer, and today we are back on the Unknown Empire server with episode 5. Oh, and if you're wondering, this is uh, season 4, or season 2, not 4, we're not anywhere near 4, we're not even, I don't even know how close we're in to the end of this season, I'm only 5 episodes in, then again I've taken a couple months, so we are here, I'm guessing, <laughs> I'm guessing this is the bandit camp. So, I was exploring the nether earlier. Well, yesterday, actually, in fact. That. Uh. Oh! It all makes sense! Hey, hey, hey! It all makes legit sense! Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong if you're off part of the Unknown Empire SP. But that is a boat. It looks like one that's on Reverie. I'm not sure that's Reverie over there. It probably isn't, but if it is, I just discovered something. So that's Tatros. This is seemingly the bandit camp because it doesn't look like there's anything else around here. And considering it is Houdinho, uh, correct me if I'm wrong saying that, who has set up this whole thing. Um, there's thieves. Uh, he's associated with that. So I'm going to take this as I'm in the right spot. So I was exploring the nether and I found this. I went the wrong way in the maze because I came from the nether portal. And this is such a maze. I, it looked like a maze and I was like, he said something about a maze in Discord and I'm like, that was a maze I was just in. Turns out I was in the right place, just uh, not uh, the right direction. Um, I'm guessing I just have to find my way through here. I don't... Hey, zombie. Uh, should you die? I don't know if you're part of, like, the whole thing that's going on here. No, you're not. You're gonna try to kill me. <laughs> ah, I'm glad I didn't decide to leave him alone. Okay. I'm... This... This is the way I was going back. This leads, I know exactly how to get to the nether portal from here. But I'm trying not to. I'm trying to find whatever this is. What are you? Why Why is there all these things around here? Uh, what's in this direction? Nothing. Okay, good. That's fabulous. Alright, let's head that, that. Okay, this, this place. Alright, so there's another portal. Uh, oh boy. What's this? Interesting. Interesting. Looks like it might be the way. Looks like it. Did I find it? Hey, hey, hey. I think I found it. I think I found it. I think I found it. Eat thieves, um, as this spelling, uh, check. Um, does that say guide or guild? It, um, it's guide. It, it's, of course, it's guide. Initiation quest. Press button for part one. I kind of feel like I should put stuff, some of this stuff away. Okay. Oh, book, <laughs> book. I thought that I thought that was gonna be trial one. Greetings, Traveler. If you are reading this book, then you have been selected and accepted a position in the Thieves... I, I'm pretty sure... I don't know how to pronounce. I'm sorry, Houdinio, but I do not know how to pronounce that. In order to be fully initiated, there must be a trial of sorts. Your first task, should you choose to accept it, is to mine four levels of the Inner Circle of the thieves uh, stuff once complete drop this book in the turn in chest and receive task number two okay what's it asking here yeah you, uh, your first task you sh uh, for Mine four levels of the inner circle. What does it mean? 
four levels. Is it this thing? Am I just supposed to mine that out? Uh, I think that's what I was asking. Okay. The obvious question here is how do I get down there in the first place? Obviously, there's a staircase right here. So am I just supposed to mine this out right here? Because if I am, I need torches. I need lots of torches. I could just use the torches that are already here. Because uh, I did not bring any. I did not think I'd be doing this sort of thing. It did. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'll use the torches that are in place already. So four levels. Is, is that correct? And mine four levels of the inner circle. Okay. Yeah, this looks this looks like the inner circle. I guess I just start. Am I allowed to take that? I don't know. I'll leave it here. I don't even really need iron at the moment. I say at the moment. But I will in the future. Trust me. Trust me. There's going to be some time in the future when I'm just going to look at my iron supply and say... Why didn't I mine out that iron and the circle thingy for the thieves, whatever it's called? Oh, yeah. I didn't because I don't know why I didn't. Well, this is going to take a while. Um, fast forward time? Or do we want a time lapse? I don't know. Think about it for a minute. Do we want... Do we want a time lapse or to skip this? Okay. Answer is I'm not sure. I'll find you'll you'll find out as you're watching the video. All right, guys. So I almost killed my pickaxe. It is on its last few blocks. But I did mine down four levels. So, um, yeah, I guess that's that done. Uh, so let's head up here. That didn't take as long as I thought it would, but it definitely took a little bit of time. Um, let's head over here. Uh, press, uh, Anish turn, turn in. Uh, is then, okay. Do I just drop that in there? Now what? Is something supposed to happen here? Hello? Is something supposed to happen here? Or am I just blind? It says and the quest is in progress, but I didn't e I don't even have my second book. <laughs> uh maybe I should have read that again. Maybe I didn't do it right. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, let's head down. Let's head down and see. Uh, is there anything, like, that I should be aware of? Should I go through here? What is this? Oh, there's different rooms. Forge. Mini. <laughs> they're, they ju they're just beds and stuff. Temp. All right, okay. I don't know what that's all about. I want to explore this more. <laughs> this is interesting. Uh, I can't. I can't get on that level. I. I. I can't. I can't get on that level. All right. Um. So I'm gonna leave. I think. 
I don't know how to leave. Do I go out the way I came? Or am I here until I finish it? In which I can't finish it. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have to talk to Houdinio. I'll be right back, guys. So, guys, I have let Houdinio know that uh, I did not get a second book. I don't even know if I was supposed to get a second book. He hasn't replied yet, so... Well, as of recording this, he might have replied uh, by the time I'm finished. But, as you can see, we are down here right by the path heading directly into Waypoint over there. And, if we look, I have started clearing out a few trees. I've also cleaned up some stuff. This tree was basically cut in half. That tree was in the middle of the path. Uh, and these were floating, so I just brought them all to the ground. And now it looks uh, significantly better without the random trees all over the place. So, we need to basically gather up some concrete. If there's one thing I did not think about, it was the fact that this is made out of concrete. <laughs> I don't know where I'm getting sand from. Uh, I'm going to check Reverie for in like shops and stuff uh, and see if there's anywhere where I could buy it. But yeah, I don't know. Um, I think I'm just gonna have to go gather some. Uh, I have a desert like right over that mountain. Also, this looks super cool out there. It looks amazing. Uh, so originally, uh, as you may or may not know, it was going to be built there. But I figured this is a lot closer and more practical with a path already connected to it. So um, I'll catch you guys back when I have a little bit of a base plan for it. But uh, I'm going to try to make it up to my base without dying. This is going to be a trip. Alright guys, so... Uh, that was a very, very dangerous night I just had to go through while laying out this. But I have gone through quite a lot to get to this point with just this amount to show for it. So please appreciate this project. I have had to go on far and wide for the resources. Far and wide. Like seriously all over the place. I've gone west. I've gone east. I've gone even further west. <laughs> oh, it gets terrible, but okay. Um, right here we just have the uh, layout for the design here. Um, it's nothing too special. It's it's a warehouse design. Uh, something you'd see in I don't know, like a city or something, uh, or like a town, just sort of abandoned down here. Um, this is going to be the front entrance. Obviously, the blocks are missing. I'm building it out of concrete. Yay! I don't even have a shovel right now. I don't even have any diamonds left. Uh, but yeah, it's not going to be too special. But now, uh, storage stuff, you, you know. Uh, now, I'm going to head back up to the base, and I will meet you guys back at the guild. I don't know. It was shown earlier in the episode. So, we are back here at the Thieves Guild. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And, uh, so, last time we were here, I checked the dispenser, and there wasn't anything in it. I was supposed to get another book, and I guess I'm supposed to check the, um, dispenser or the like block uh okay um the final quest I'm just going to read it and see what it says and if it says anything uh Okay, yeah, I don't know. Um, 
I'm going to ask Houdinho uh, what the next book is, but I also heard, uh, what is this, notices? Yes, yeah, see, uh, the Discord chat said something about info books. This might be it. Uh... Okay, I don't know. Um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> That's the problem here. I have no clue what to do. None. Alright, well, um, it's probably going to take a minute for Houdinho to get back with me. So, I will probably be at the base working uh, when you see me again. Alright, guys. So... We have quite a bit of this built up a little bit here. Um, I still need to raise up the, uh, the what is this? Dark gray, God, yeah, dark, the, it's the gray concrete stuff. I still need to raise that up by a little bit, and I still need to finish the walls, do the roof, the floors, the interior, you know, all that good stuff, all the details, the windows, all of that. Um, but I did talk to Hedinio, and he said that um, in order to get the second book, you have to do the first book. And apparently something's just a little bit broken. So he said, I'm just going to skip to the third book thing and do whatever it says. Uh, so we need to go back there again. <laughs> again. Third, it'd be the third time this episode. Actually, it'd be technically the fourth because I did go there off camera earlier. Um, earlier is a weird term, considering this is a couple of days in the making. I did not mean for it to take this long. But now I'm going to try to get up to my base before starving to death. And I will catch you guys back at the Thieves Guild once and for all for this final book. Once again, back at the Thieves Guild here. And it is now yet another day of recording this episode. Yay! <laughs> oh boy, uh... So, uh, Houdinio just said to basically skip the second quest, so let's just head straight into this one. Your offering will be used in the crafting of your official Thieves Guild armor, which I did not do because I didn't have, I don't even know where the second book is right now, so yeah, I kind of, that's kind of, he, he just said skip it. Turn the page, final part of your quest. Only one initiate. Okay, I might say. I, I think I said that right, I'm not sure. May take part in this quest at a time. If you are reading this book, then you are ready. And may act upon these orders. Head over to the Land of Reverie. Inside the blacksmith is DJ Sword of Destiny. Steal this and drop it in the chest. Once complete, you will receive your guild token. Okay. So I gotta steal something from DJ. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Uh, I, think I, I think I'm supposed to keep on to this. I'm not sure. Um, I'll keep it for now. Uh, but I may ask, I may ask Houdini later. Uh, so let's, uh, let's just head over there. Also, this is not a place you want to fall into. <laughs> That's a really far drop. Alright, so... D DJ's place in Reverie. I've actu I'm have i actually pretty sure I've been in his place in Reverie. Uh, I know I've been in houses before in Reverie. Also, you want to see how quick it is to get to the portal from here? It is extremely quick, guys. Look at that. Uh, Alright, let's... uh. Let's go see what the DJ's place looks like. Um, all right, it's a good thing I still have my boat on me because now I can just head right on over to Reverie. All right, welcome to Reverie, guys, and here we are at the blacksmith. Um, I guess the book says, yeah, DJ Sword of Destiny at the blacksmith, and that is Blacksmith Banner. I'm pretty sure. 
Let's look for this thing. Found it. <laughs> Is it supposed to be that easy? Are you just are you just supposed to hop inside and say, "Hey, yeah, I'm taking this." Uh, goodbye. <laughs> uh. Okay. Um, I'm taking this back. I'm going to turn this in, and I guess we have completed the final quest. And welcome to the, uh, wh whatever this is called. Uh, I guess, I guess this whole thing is a Thieves Guild. Um, but welcome back. And we are just about, did I close that door one time? Or has someone else been in here? The only person online is Tekkit. So, yeah. Um, I, I guess... I guess what we do is uh, let's let's check the final page here. Uh, uh, okay. So I guess we just drop the book and the sword into the chest, and there we go, guys. <laughs> oh. Uh, what is this called? Thieves med med Medallion. Wow, okay, I do not know what that's about. But it sounds cool, and it looks amazing. <laughs> Alright, so. Unfortunately, guys. This video has taken way too long to make. I'm just, it's way too long. So, I'm going to end it off here with this in my hand. So. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below and subscribe, and click that bell button so you never miss a video. I'll see you guys in the next one. This guy's Air Lair, and I'm out.